Got more comments from the Final Fantasy XV director Hajime Tabata today, this time talking about the reasons behind the month delay that the game recently got. Now, per a translation from Kotaku, and according to Tabata, one of the main reasons behind the game being delayed was optimization, and according to Tabata, along with the game not having quote unquote sufficient optimization, there were also quote various bugs and frame rate drops. Now, while he did stress that these bugs were not game breaking, there are still, quote, a number of bugs like characters floating unnaturally in the air or appearing all strange and glitchy. We are going to fix the issues. Another thing that I also wanted to refine is the game balance. Now, when I've discussed the delay before, one of the reasons they gave is that they wanted to fix everything that they wanted to fix with the game and have it ready on launch rather than delaying it for a day one patch. So. The reasoning behind this, as they've discussed before, is that not everyone has their console connected to the internet, therefore basically if you buy the game and don't connect your PS4 or whatever to the internet, you're not going to get the big day one patch that they put out that fixes all these issues and therefore think worse of the experience. And he went on to cite data from Japan which states that more than 20% of people do not have their consoles connected online, so this is a valid argument to make. And Having all the content ready on the disc rather than having a huge day one patch is not something I'm going to, going to complain about. And he said, quote, According to some data, the console game users more than 20% of Japan was in such a situation. The US has higher connection rates than Japan. In other words, Japan, those will be playing without the internet connection, was found to be a significant number. And further, according to him, South America has a low connectivity rate and, quote, not a good online situation. So basically, they didn't want to be delivering what they would view, understandably, as a subpar experience to a good portion of their player base, of course. While mobile gaming is much bigger than console gaming in Japan, we are still talking about Final Fantasy here, and that's definitely going to be a popular release, and definitely makes sense to me. Personally, I would rather have the delay, have them work on the things that would have been in the day one patch, have it all on the disc, and when you pop it into your console, you know, maybe you have to download an update for the PS4 and or Xbox One, and that is it. Don't have to download some huge update or you know play with subpar frame rates and glitches without it. I would much rather wait and get a more complete experience. Well, I just realised I said month delay at the start of the video. It's actually two months delay. Apparently, I can't count. Do forgive me for that minor blunder there. But still, you know, day one patches are a very modern thing, they weren't always so prevalent, so I would actually much rather have this game just be ready on launch and maybe have a few updates after to, you know, get any issues that they might have missed in testing and that sort of thing. So, yeah, that seems fair enough to me, but let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.